how you are and exactly why I love you. I've got a sweetie known as Susie. In the words of Shakespeare, she's a wow. We know of you, may know her too. I'd like to shout right now. practice to someone, so I'm dedicating it to you. <sighs> I know it's been a while, and I know our marriage is just supposed to be for paper so you can work in London after Steve and everything, <sighs> but I spent a lot of time in therapy, and I realised there's some really ugly episodes between us. I'm in Bali, getting a little bit bodied out, actually, thinking about things, and uh, my therapist wanted me to write some letters. So, I wrote some letters to you. I'm gonna read them to you for clarity, <laughs> so we can get better. No, I'm not gonna read them. Can you hit the lights? Yeah? Yeah, all right. Um, yogis, you mind helping me a little bit? Yeah? You an actor? No. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Here you go. Come on, down there. Come on. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, it's your life right there. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you, you're definitely an actor. Come on. Yeah, yeah, you got one more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on down. Oh, I really appreciate this. I really appreciate this. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, what number do you have? Two. Two, you're right here. What number do you have? Yeah, here. Number three. Uh, oh, yes, nice, I like it. Keep it going, keep it inside though, inside. Your number one, you're right there. You know, we're a little bit over here, yeah, right there. Okay, right here. Now, right here. Can we see ya? Yeah. yeah, all right. Now, just here we go. Ready? We're gonna all listen to her. Here we go. Read it. Like, Me? Yeah. I need glasses. Yeah. <laughs> here we go. We were dating and then I agreed to marry you so you could stay and work in London. Yeah, can you, can you do it with an English accent? <laughs> In Israel. <laughs> I know. Right, English accent. I need it to sound like it's me. Okay. Here we go. We were dating. <laughs> and then I agreed to marry you so you could stay in, and work in London after drama school. Yeah. But right before the ceremony, you changed your mind. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, London wasn't your calling anymore and you wanted to go home. But I was in love. Yeah. It wasn't about the papers for me. No. <laughs> I beseeched. Oh, yeah, I beseeched, that's right. You to still go through with it. Yeah. Keep your word. Yeah. Marry me. Yeah. So we can stay together. Yeah. You did. Uh -huh. In black, full stocking. Carrying the whole time. Yeah, crying the, oh. Oh, the whole time. Yeah, thank you, Lord. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Right. Okay, here we go. Okay. 
English accent. Oh, good one. <laughs> there we go. And like with your heart, go. Uh, <laughs> Come on. Or after when we had a fight, and you changed the locks of our New York apartment. Yes. And I had to break into my own home, and yet somehow, yeah. I thought we could still work it out. Yeah. That's why I refused to sign the divorce paper. <laughs> you got so angry and assaulted me with a water bottle. <laughs> Crystal Springs. What? You slapped it out of my hand and it struck my face. It hurts. <laughs> All right. Now you got some stage directions, so you just gotta wait. I'll say a line. Then you gotta read again. I'll say a line. All right. I got it. Right. Okay. It's okay. That's fine. Okay. Here we go. All right. And then Susie. Yeah. Insult to injury. You brought your hulking beast of a new boyfriend to our coffee date. Like a guard dog with teeth bad, staring us the whole time. We talked. I was so foolish thinking we were meeting to talk about reconciling. Right. All right, all right, all right. Admittedly, I was a bit of a dick too, just a little bit. Because I threatened to call your daddy, tell him that you were married, right? And also, also that. Oh, I told you I wanted to shag your friend because I saw her at your birthday. She was there and I couldn't stop thinking about her. She had really great tits. Yeah. I know I was a dick. Yeah, I know, but but I was trying to have a truthful conversation so we could have a truthful um, foundation for our marriage, and the truth was... I really wanted to shag your friend. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're good? All right, thank you. Right, I really wanted to shag your friend. Of course I wouldn't do that. That truth would have been too much for her. Or is this, I don't know, maybe if I'd been more satisfied sexually, you know? Maybe, Susie. Maybe if you, you know, looked a little bit more like Wendy Paltrow. I don't know. Maybe if you're giving me head more or taking it up the batty upon occasion. I'm just saying, it's not all your fault. <laughs> Just mostly your fault. <laughs> oh, is this wrong? Being so raw, so vulnerable. Because I, re I realise now as we get older, how we get so old. Falling in love doesn't happen very often. At least to me, anyway. And, and, and I, I realise you were hurt after Steve and everything. And you get mean when you get hurt. Ah, I get that. I, I was having a difficult time after our marriage broke up. But to be all honest, you, you're not the easiest to handle, Susie. So I have great respect for your new hobby, Steve. But I do remember I made you sign those papers. And I do remember I made you sign your name on those divorce papers like you were the abuser. Right? It's the only way. So. Yogis, I need a little bit more help from you. One more time. Just repeat after me, yeah? Ho upon upon you. Go on. Ho upon upon you. Timothy Mitchell. Timothy Mitchell. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. My deviled rotten egg. I forgive you.
Go live. Go live. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Did you record that? You started. All right. Um. Hi. <clears throat> thank you so much for joining my podcast. Um. This is Stephen A. Taylor, the Do It Yourself Podcast. Today we're gonna do a little bit different. I'm gonna talk a little personal. Yeah. A lot of you asked me about my marriage, so. Uh, I'm just going to go for it. <clears throat> so, uh, I, I remember when I first saw Susie, my wife. Um, I was home from college. And uh, the sexy woman walks up to me at a bar, and uh, she asks me, um, why are you wearing your visor backwards? And I said, to pick up chicks. <laughs> and she said, is it working? <laughs> and I said, you tell me. Yeah. Well, I, I, uh, I remember it like it was yesterday. That was 30 years ago. Susie and I have been through a lot, especially after her dad died, Gary. Gary, uh, he was tough and loving, all in the same hug. He was a fixer. A doctor, orthopedic surgeon, wanted to fix much more than broken bones. Yeah, he had a big heart. No tact. <coughs> yeah, he used to like to say that I didn't have a sense of humor, but I used to say he didn't understand humor. He used to like to joke about the high statistics of divorce. Every time I saw him, <laughs> I used to think he thought I'd fail, but now I think I think he just knew Susie. He knew it wasn't going to be easy. Yeah, but he always loved me. Didn't give a crap that I was Catholic. All he cared about was, did I love his daughter? Was I honest? And uh, was I going to help support the Kreitman ladies? And I try. I try. Because I learned to love, do whatever it takes for my Cuban family. My mother and her sisters, my tias, they actually had to leave Cuba in the 60s when they were little kids. And they had to leave everything, leave everyone, you know, to survive makes you focus on what's important, and that's the people you love. <clears throat> I, think it's, I think it's that, that joint experience, leaving everything, losing everyone that joins the Cubans and the Jews together. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, Susie used to love to say, you should have married someone that was Cuban so she would do everything you said, like the way you were raised. <laughs> and I'm thinking, uh, have you not met my mother? <laughs> so Gary, Gary knew Susie wasn't going to be easy, right? And uh, it's hard for a father, you know, to, to guide, support, and discipline that child to adult arc. You know, you don't know what's going to land. Mm. But for me, as a husband, I had an advantage. And uh, I got to negotiate my deal on the way in. It was really simple. Uh, all I wanted was for Susie to stay home and be primary in raising the kids. And if she did that, she wouldn't have to earn a dollar to support the family. I'd take care of everything. See, Susie's an artist, a pure creative. And uh, the boundaries that we put in our mind, she doesn't have those. So uh, <laughs> a, a nine to five existence wasn't going to be a possibility. That would be a death sentence. So it worked out. But raising kids, building a marriage, it's not easy. And uh, we knew there were going to be a lot of compromises, uh, you know, but uh, that didn't come easy either because I uh, only worked for someone for six months until I quickly realized that I had to do something for myself or I was going to be miserable. So everybody wants to know, how do two independently thinking people with very different viewpoints on the world end up together for 20 years? <clears throat> You fight. 
You fight long and you fight hard and you throw punches and you hit when the other one's not looking and you throw sand in each other's eyes and you go to bed fuming. <laughs> oh, it's not easy for the kids to see this because they don't understand. So how does this all work out? You show up. Yeah, you don't leave. You, you make this decision that this is the person your life is going to revolve around and you just suck it up and you tell your ego to go fuck off. How do you do that? You do whatever it takes. You see, ah, truth is Susie has left me. She has left me more times than I can count. She's gone. My new world awaits me. I will not be held back by you again. Every dream I've ever thought of has happened. And my fame, fortune, and power are unrivaled. She was off. And everything that was holding her back was being left behind. <laughs> and I, uh, I would watch her prepare, and uh, I would start to feel breathless, and um, panic would set in, and it would feel like I was falling, and there was no coming back from those words that were said. And I, 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 was, I was holding you know, responsibility for my powers, and for my voices, and for my choices, and for the pain that I caused. And as she would get closer to that door, I could feel my heart would be pulled out. And I, I felt like nothing was going to be right in the world again, and then, this voice in my head would click in. Don't let her go. So I didn't. I never do. You see, Susie has left me. She has left the person I was. She left the Steve that was the lawyer that was always right. She left the kid who was scared of losing money. She left the child who, who couldn't talk to his family and was always frustrated. And she left the Steve that would get angry at a moment's notice. But it was this new Steve that, we can do better, Steve. That I don't give a fuck about being right, Steve. That would call her back because he knew that if she walked out that door, everything he ever worked for would be gone. Right then and right there. Susie has taught me to do that. And I can't even imagine a world without Susie. I mean, you come home, you don't know what's going to be happening. Your walls could be painted different colors. <laughs> Your kids could be running around the neighborhood naked. You could have a group of scantily clad women dancing on a pole in your living room. <laughs> I'm just saying she keeps it exciting. <laughs> you can't get too attached to anything, and I try not to piss her off. Because she stopped talking to me for five years when I didn't visit her in London. <laughs> Listen, for the record, <clears throat> if uh, she ever does decide to leave me, it won't be her fault. It'll be mine. But I won't lose her. Because I don't lose kind of a competitor. And I don't play for fun, I play to win, because winning is fun. Conociera <laughs> <laughs> a Susi